Hey guys, it's your girl DJ Sims and I'm here with DJ Limelight. Welcome back to the Culture Podcast. It's been quite a bit since we've actually been on here, so it's good to be back. But I feel like there's a lot going on since we've last come on the podcast to talk. Um, yeah, definitely, because you know, you've been busy with the uni raves, freshers, I've been busy DJing as well, traveling, doing what we're doing. But I feel like uh, now's a good time to talk about what's happening. Yeah. You know, today the whole young Philly situation has come to light out in australia um he's been arrested but in a general outlook on the situation it's very shocking to see someone of that caliber who seems to be doing a lot of good things online has a big following big fan base is in such a situation but you know that's literally the case with pdd as well and it's like a bit of a trend going on at the moment yeah, no, 100%. It's actually a bit wild to see. I'm sure we've all seen the news um, today on social media, on the news, on TikTok, Instagram. Um, young Philly was out in Australia. He was actually performing in Australia. He had a couple of shows, um, but he's actually been charged um, with four counts of sexual penetration without consent, three counts of sexual assault, and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing. So there's wow. multiple counts of basically sexual assault which is crazy so when you say that let me just get that get my head around it and for the obviously viewers are you saying that there's more than one person making an accusation against him so what i've read up on and what i've seen videos it seems <coughs> there's definitely more than one person that's made these accusations obviously to be charged with it there must be some sort of evidence to even be charged with it and arrested um, he was also extradited to Perth from Brisbane. So it just seems like a crazy situation. Yeah, that is crazy because when you start to look into the actual details of the case, from what we're seeing online, of course, it looks like he's done a madness out there. But that's just an assumption. Mm. You know, I, I always go with the terms, you know, innocent till proven guilty. Yeah. But it does definitely sound like he's been doing some crazy stuff out there that he shouldn't be doing, obviously, that no man should be doing. But it sounds like he's got a very tough road ahead of him here in Australia because it doesn't sound like he's allowed to leave. He's on bail, but he has to report to the police station every day. So he's kind of going to be facing some sort of jail time in the near future. Is that a yeah. fair statement to make? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, he's had to give up his passport, so he's practically stranded there, I guess, until until court, I don't know, until further investigations, until he faces court. Um, you know, I think maybe there is a jail time ahead of him, whether that's going to be in the UK, extradited back to the UK, or staying in Australia, I have no idea. Obviously, we don't know if he's definitely guilty, but I don't know. I, I just think it's it seems like madness has gone on and there's obviously clearly more than one account of it. The scary thing about the situation is that when someone has that big online presence, people almost don't expect it, but also there's so many memes coming out. We don't forget the seriousness of it, but there are so many different kinds of memes that get released and go viral and then people almost don't take it as serious as they should, in my opinion. You know, there's so many previous clips coming out of the way he is and the way he talks and the things he talks about. And But the, you can't judge a person off that alone. Mm. It's the actions and the actions have clearly caught up on him. That's what it seems like, hence why he's been charged. Yeah. And people have to realise that as well. He's actually been charged for something, which means that there is enough evidence for him to have been charged which means that he's not just being accused of something on blind faith, it's actual evidence. Mm. And I see some of the evidence that's being spoken about now is to do with uh, marks left on a girl's body. And I also think that it's not looking good for him. Yeah, I mean, I agree. And the other thing I think is important in this situation, because he's a public figure and everyone is talking about it right now, that... I think the girls who have potentially gone through this, it is really sad and they must be going through a lot. So I think the memes and stuff like I just personally don't agree with because number one, we don't even know the full picture yet. But number two, the girls who have obviously reported this are clearly going through something. So it's just important to like, I guess, raise awareness about SA and everything else that goes around it that people do go through this. And the fact that he is 
a public figure is even more scary because you just don't know what people are like, I guess. I've seen guys coming out online talking about, but why is she in the hotel with him? But that, that doesn't give a man a right to just treat a woman however he wants. Yeah. Like, just because a girl's in a hotel with you doesn't mean that you just do what you, what you like and treat her how you like. It doesn't work like that. There doesn't has, mean she gave consent. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Looking at the situation, I mean, this is looking way ahead of, like, from now. Does he even have a leg to stand on in terms of a career if he is uh, proven guilty? How do you even come back from this? Is yeah. there a comeback from this? Even if he's proven innocent, is there like a comeback? I don't, I don't know because now people are going to have it in their mind that maybe he's done something, but it might not be what, what we think it is. I don't know. Like, I don't even know how someone can come back from this because it just, it's just crazy. I mean, if he's proven innocent, you know, people have to understand that he's innocent. They have to accept that he's innocent. Yeah. But if he's proven guilty, it's very clear that he's acted inappropriately and, and, and way out of line and, and crossed certain lines. And it looks like he's going to be doing jail time on the other side of the world, which is probably probably a lot of people's worst nightmare. 